has their hobbies. People like going golfing and like that, but getting, getting the STI just kind of almost puts you like, you know, I'm good now. I'm good. <laughs> When I first came across this particular car, it was at the Chicago Auto Show. It was the 50th year of the Subaru, and they had the SCIs, they had different models out there with this heritage blue color. So a lot, I saw this car at the Chicago Auto Show. I looked at it more, and I looked at more research on it. I was literally going to go pick up, go look at the four RSs, drive past the Subaru dealership, and this the car was sitting outside. And I looked at it, I'm like, wow, that looks kind of sharp. And the light, I've never seen one out in the public yet. It was the first one I've ever seen. And, and within, it just caught my attention. I just went, all right, going. I never looked back since I got it. What I really loved about the car, what it drew me attention to it was definitely the color. <laughs> It was really the color and the uniqueness of it. I always like unique cars. This is uh, one of 200 in the US. What I know of is only two in Wisconsin. It is one of, one of, one of 200 within the US itself. So it was delegated just for the STIs. Hey, this is my 2018 STI. 50th anniversary, one of 200 in the US. As you can see on top of it, dad mode. That's what we were talking about earlier. This is what, this is kind of what drove me to um, have the number one passion about this car is to have my daughter with me. As you can see on this side, you kind of see the color itself, how it goes blend with the car, the black and kind of like that heritage blue color. These are very unique rims. People think like, is, is that off the market? No, they are standard STI rims specifically made for the STI 50th anniversary itself. So it has a nice gunmetal look to it versus the traditional black. And also you can see the nice neon yellow calipers back there, four pits in the back. I try to keep it very simple itself. You can see the lines of the car. That's what I like about the STI too. The line, the curves, you can really see the lines itself, the, how it just keeps on flow to the back of the car with the traditional STI big table back there we have. One thing I can't forget is my Patrick Sindel signature right there. Um, right there, he actually sat in the, my passenger side and sat there and did a, did a signature for me. That's pretty cool. What's going on underneath the hood itself? Uh, we have, starting with the Grinch Speed, a uh, nice bed and engine bay uh, touch-ups there with um, Grinch Speed lightweight battery. You can see down here, it's kind of small versus the traditional. It saves 19 pounds off your front end. It's excellent. Hey, any savings on a car for lose some weight? Perfect, it runs really great. We, again, we can go to the Green Speed intake system right here, right from them. They have Green Speed top mount intercooler. Um, they have Green Speed piping, all J piping behind intercooler. There's a pitch stop back there from Green Speed itself. Yeah, I'm a little addicted to Green Speed a little bit. Um, and also turbo wedge is a turbo blanket down pipe from Matt Performance, leading right into that R400. Uh, don't forget the uh, Grin Speed AOS system and the Cusco strut bar on it. As you can see the front right there, you can kind of see what's unique about this car that you don't see too often. Um, you'll see this on a 208 or 209 is the, um, the JDM 2A209 bezels. This is the front bezel. Normally they like putting the, the lights on top, but I like the the chrome because it fits well with the car itself. I went with this particular hood because it was very simple clean lines is like that. It kind of follows the car itself what we're looking at as well. Clean lines, simple look, but still go fast. Overall, there's some great some things going on in this car. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. So hopefully we can uh, get on the road and see what it can do.
Well, the car makes you feel it's, it's really more about the mechanics of the car itself. Knowing the car will do exactly what you tell it to do. Um, you feel the feedback of the car, the suspension working, you feel the engine like really getting up to speed, getting the feeling here in the turbo. It just, the feeling is kind of like a whole. You're, you're just one with the car itself, especially with the Subaru. It's very old school mechanics on it. You feel exactly what you want to do with it. You want to put the brakes on, you'll, you'll feel the brakes. You want to dive into that corner. accelerate off it, you will feel it. It's just, it, it, it's like a wholesome feeling itself. How I got across uh, with Pro Clips, it was, it was really just by, like everyone else, social media. Uh, I looked at different brackets, I looked at different mounts I wanted to do, it just, there was, I, I tried different ones, different manufacturers out there, like eBay specials, Amazon, I tried them all. It just wasn't like that durability. Um, and I wanted one for my access port to be on the left hand side. I didn't want it to be on the pillar, which they do make one for the pillar, um, but I just didn't want to be exposed. And it just overall, the construction of it itself, you get the quality behind it. And that's the main thing I would like about it. It's the quality behind the product itself. It's funny, I actually just had it like a week ago, is I actually put my phone up there and I was just with my daughter, just driving around town, just kind of cruising on a, a late afternoon. And I was like, he's like, Daddy, just watch it. I'm like, okay, just send it, as they call it, just send that car. I'm like, okay, and I just sent it. And the phone just sat there and just like, didn't even move at all. It's just like, and then I'm like, wow, I expect the thing just to fall off or the torque, or, it just doesn't. It just holds everything in place without falling off. The products just stay there. Like the phone, the access port doesn't move. It just clipped on there good. It doesn't wobble. It just stays durable. It looks like it's just part of the car itself. Second best memory I had with my car was actually I was at a flat show. It was Patrick Sandell. Patrick Sandell was there and that day I'm like, and my friend's like, dude, you should get it to sign your car. It'd be awesome. I'm like, dude, he's not gonna sign my car. I'm like, how he's gonna sign my car? The guy's like, it was around him. So we had a bunch of friends, like we go out there, got a signature friend, it's like, hey, you might sign my friend's car. He looks like he's like, yeah, I'll sign his car, it'd be awesome. I've never done that yet. He said, he said come get me in the, um, after this event, come get me, I'll come over to you. And after we got him, we got to him. He walked over, we talked on the way there. Super awesome guy, definitely down to earth. He came, sat in my car, signed my dash. Since I got that signature from Patrick Sindel, is I want to get the rest of the, the crew, to like on the Subaru uh, Motorsports team, the autocross teams, to sign my car. I think that would be so cool to have that on my car and sell. It would be like a memorable thing. But my, my number one thing is actually have my daughter with me. Having my daughter with me in my car um, is probably the best feeling, the best memories I always have. Is sharing that passion I have for cars and, and showing her to be responsible with it. Just the, the responsible side, being a dad to a, your daughter and showing it. It's not all about zipping through the gears and just understanding the value of having responsibility, having a car itself. But also just going for drives with her going to car events with her, and just having that moment, stopping at a park and just having ice cream with her. And you're looking back and the car's in the background and you're sharing with that. She's like my, my co-pilot, you know, my navigator in the car itself. My, my license plate reflects that. And you'll see that my, my license plate reflects that, uh, the dad bond I have with my daughter. So. <laughs>